Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm planning to film another fun swatch video for the pencils and I have already done my greens. So there are 53, I think 53 colors that I have swatched um, from like across all of my pencils, which includes Dervant Chroma Flow, Dervant Color Soft, Durbant, Lightfast, Holbein, and Luminance. So the greens were actually for my um, landscape. Let me just show you quickly again. So the, the landscape color palette. And today I'm going to focus more on the mushrooms. And these colors, of course, can be used for so many different styles it could be portraiture it could be all sorts of you know abstract art whatever comes to mind however these are the picks that i constantly go to when i am doing mushroom drawing or painting i have uh, grouped them in three groups there is the neutrals the grays and the darks and we're going to swatch them out in these groups um, so, like I said, in terms of brands, I have, as you can see, predominantly Caran d'Ache Luminance, which are just the work horse. They are super reliable. The colors, the quality of the pencil, I just absolutely love them. And I think predominantly it's the color as well as the quality. But the color range is what makes me go to them. They are in the colors that I really, really enjoy using, hence why I have more of them featured here. Holbeins are fantastic, but I don't use them as often. I love the color. However, the, the texture is not as layerable as the others. I find if I use a little bit of Holbein somewhere, then that is it. I cannot layer on top of it. They're very waxy with the finish. So when I press, that is it. Um, I, I can't push it further. However, with the other two, Durban Light Fast and Luminance, both of them are super layerable. So you can carry on adding things even if they're at their most opaque. And then I have a few Durban colors as well, which basically I don't have these colors in my Luminance. I find that the Derwent Lightfast pencils are, in terms of color, they're great gap fitters. So whatever I don't have in Luminance, I head over to my Derwent Lightfast and there will be a color. The colors are beautiful in the Derwent Lightfast as well, but just somehow Luminance just hit it on the nail for me personally. Okay, if you hear a little bit of wind, we are <laughs> finally moving into autumn. So the weather is all over the place. There's quite a bit of rain. There's quite a bit of wind. And I think it's the perfect time for these kind of cozy mushroom drawings and the color palette. Coming back to the mushrooms, you will see that there is actually a lot more color here. And you may wonder why I only have selected the three groups being neutrals, grays and darks and why I don't have any other color. The color I tend to do with watercolor and the shadowing that I then add to kind of create more depth is usually these three color groups. The greens that I've done all the greens that I use in my mushrooms are the same greens that I shared for my favorite greens. And then these are the helpers. These are the detail work that I put in um, when I finish with the watercolor portion of the mushroom illustrations. Let's start with our neutrals. I have 10 colors in the neutrals and I don't think I will be going in any specific color range I haven't arranged them, so I'll just go as they are. Sometimes I find that swatches work really well when you actually don't have them <laughs> arranged because they will pop a little bit more. I've done the same with my watercolor palette. I put together a new, which is super exciting. I haven't filmed it yet. I'm also filming a new online course based on mushroom illustration, so that's super exciting. The watercolor palette that I put together, I can show you quickly, it's just here. It's 
basically my landscape color palette so I put lovely colors here and I did it completely different so I've got loads of greens basically all of my favorite greens I tend to use most of these colors straight from the pan so that's why I wanted a big variety of greens and then there is some of the oranges and sort of browns and then pinks and reds so there's only one blue and none of the other colors. There's some neutrals here as well. Um, so that's what I was trying to say with these swatches. Okay, so let's crack on. So the first color we have is Luminance and it's Brown Ochre 50%. The, the choice that I made for these Luminance pencils is because I haven't had any pencils kind of break at the core. They don't chip so I press quite hard on my pencils they don't tend to chip some of my Derwent light fast tend to chip when I get them to a point like a sharp point and I press fairly hard they tend to chip haven't had that with the luminance and also they're super buttery smooth that comes to both pencils okay so next one let's carry on with luminance burnt sienna 10% so this is the only pencil I don't get on with. It's very scratchy and some people told me they had some scratchy ones too, but others said they had no problems with theirs. Mine is, no matter how many times I sharpen it, it does this. I like the pencil, the color of it. Sorry, the sun came out. It was so gray earlier, I thought it would be perfect time to film, but as per usual so yeah the color is perfect but it's like super scratchy so burn sienna 10 percent and then we have got burn sienna 50 percent so it's only the 10 percent that is acting a bit funny then we have burnt orca 50 percent And dark flesh 40%. Then we have raw amber 10%. And now it's the Holbein pencil. So this one is a bit out there. So this is the cinnamon. So it's kind of brownish, like reddish. And then we have some of the lighter colors. So this is cork. They also layer beautifully. They're also very kind of soft when you're working with them. They're not a hard pencil, but once you layer it, can't really go over. Ash Rose. I think at the thin swatches, you know, when they're like quite light, then obviously you can blend it. But I do like to layer in full on colors as well, which with Holbein I can't do. Sea Fog has a little bit more of lilac in there but it's kind of like a grayish type of a color. Okay, so these are the neutrals. I'm going to title them and give you a nice little close up. Here are the colors and the names. So do pause if you want to take a note. Now let's move on to the grays. And here we have got also 10 colors so first one is luminance french gray then we have luminance sepia 50 percent violet gray
Payne's Grey 30%. Sepia 10%. This one is a touch scratchy as well, not as much as the other one. Then we have Payne's Grey 60%. And then we have Payne's Grey, nice and dark. And then we have got Smoke Blue, this is now Holbein. So in comparison, I would say that out of these three pencils, the luminance are the softest. Fossil Grey, let me just do this one. Then I'd say Dervant Light Fast and then Holbein. And this is Mars Violet. So, here are the Mushroom Greys. And what I really like about luminance is the way they do the percentages. So, for example, if you really love Payne's Grey, which I do, always did, it started all with watercolor Payne's Grey and then migrated into all of my other art supplies. And uh, they have three different varieties of it, starting from the classic dark Payne's Grey, then slightly lighter at 60% and even a lighter version at 30%. So you'd have a lovely gradient. All of these colors are kind of warm gray and sort of more blue toned gray and slightly maybe violet gray. So they have different shades of gray. And then finally, let's look into our mushroom darks. And here I have less colors. I only have seven colors but they are super intense they're very deep and they are just luscious these are quite significant when it comes to mushroom drawings because I need to go into certain areas to make the mushrooms pop for example here all of that darkness here was done by using pencils so that I can make the mushroom cap look like it's inverted so it's sort of curling on the inside and um, give it the shape that I need to. So all of those darker pencils are in one or another way included in these illustrations so you can see the darker areas here. Okay, so let's start with Holbein this time, and this is burgundy, one of my all-time favorite colors, not just for mushrooms, but in other things. I love using this for a lip color as well in my girl illustrations. So it's a lovely fall color. Purple, and this is by Durban Lightfast. Although it says purple, it's not your typical purple. You can see it's very deep, it's like a aubergine type of a purple. It's very matte as well. Kind of powdery. You can really build it up beautifully. This is my the favorite probably color and you can see. Um, it's the Dark Indigo by Illuminance again. And this pencil is just so, so nice. I mean, I'm not supposed to show you this, but I will just give you a super, super quick preview. And I kind of started using it at the bottom of the mushrooms just to give this a little contrast, a little accent and kind of make the mushroom a bit more settled. Otherwise, they're floating in the air. So... In these sketches right here, they don't have anything to ground them into. But now I started adding this pencil to make it look more of a finished illustration. And like I said, it just nestles the mushroom base into something and I really love it. So that's the pencil I go to. Next one, we have 
Luminance Carmine Lake. Another fantastic color. Very dark. I don't know, when I ordered it, why did I think it'd be more of a, like a pinker color? Uh, but it's a beautiful deep toned color. Right, so next one we have got is again Luminance Sepia. So we had the other Sepia in the grays. Let's just, let me just finish this swatch and then I'll show you. So this is your nice deep toned classic Sepia. And then we also had Sepia 50% and Sepia 10%. So again, we've got that lovely gradient and that being the darkest. Two more pencils. We have got Burnt Sienna. So this is kind of like a brown. And then finally we have got a little bit of uh, pink in there, Crimson Aubergine. So this one I'll show you how I use it. I mean the tip was super sharp very pointy and I am pushing very hard as you can see but they just never break okay so let me quickly show you how I use this this is such an amazing pencil Carmine Lake yeah very interesting it almost kind of has a shift to it it's got some red and browns pop up I hope you can see it I can't really say pigment separation I would use that term generally in watercolor but it's not really for that let's have a little close-up and as I was looking at these, I decided to give you my sort of top favorites, must-haves that if, for example, you're just starting and you want to add colored pencils to your art supplies, but you obviously can't go and just, you know, spend a ton of money on all of these pencils and colors, then I will actually show you a couple that I think you will not regret. Like, there are really must-haves. I have picked two colors from each color group that I think are must-haves and you will really enjoy using them in this color palette. So Burnt Ochre 50% by Karen Dash Luminance and Ash Rose Holbein. So those are two really, really gorgeous, unique colors. This one is like a beige um but like warm terracotta ish type of a color it's even more interesting in life like in real life than looking at the screen and then paints gray purely because i just think it's such a solid color it's really um versatile you can use it in so many different ways and then Fossil Grey uh, by Durbant Lightfast. I think this is also a very unique, beautiful warm tone grey with a slight tint of purple in there. Just the slightest, slightest, slightest. And um, it's gorgeous, really gorgeous. Again, I don't have this color across other brands. Okay, so let's go back to Mushroom Darks. The two colors that I highly recommend are both by Luminance Karen Dash. So we have Dark Indigo and Carmine Lake, and they are super, super beautiful. Very, very unique. Six colors is a lot more affordable than all of these. So if you wanted to still play along with this color palette, then those six are a must have. So those are my mushroom favorite colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what colors you uh, like from this swatch time and uh, which ones maybe you already have and which ones are your kind of maybe favorite colors from other brands that aren't mentioned here. We all love beautiful colors, especially when it's themed rather than just random. Uh, although random favorites are also very inspiring. I love watching those colors. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.